Good morning, folks. Dylan here from PlasmaCuttersReviews.com, and today I want to talk to you guys about plasma cutters with built-in air compressors. We're going to talk a little bit about the space of what it means to have a plasma cutter with a built-in compressor and the reality of some of the performance of these machines. And in a way, I'm going to try to kind of talk you out of buying a plasma cutter with a built-in compressor unless you're someone who absolutely needs it. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that and why I feel that way. And then we're going to show you some of the machines that are available out there and to give you guys an idea of price. Okay, so why do I not recommend you buy a plasma cutter with a built-in air compressor? Well, there's a couple of reasons. The first reason is in general... Any plasma cutter that has a built-in compressor is going to suffer from performance loss in terms of cutting ability, okay? Most machines that come from manufacturers like Hobart, um, when they add a compressor into their machines, they cut down on their cutting uh, capacity by a lot. So, for example, one of the machines we have here is the Hobart Air Force 12 CI. This is a unit that has a built-in compressor. However it can only be turned up to 12 amps. And if you've ever used a plasma cutter, you know that 12 amps is not really a lot. You know, 12 amps is rated to cut 1 8 inch steel. For this same price, you could get a plasma cutter that could cut up to half inch steel, okay? That's a very big difference, but that plasma cutter is gonna require an external air source, all right? So in general, when you buy a plasma cutter with a built-in compressor, you're gonna suffer from performance loss However, there is one, one machine, one machine out there that does not suffer from this, and that is the Hypertherm PowerMax 30 Air, but you're going to pay quite a bit for that machine. So we're going to get to the machines here in a second, but I just want to give you guys a little bit of a preview. But in general, you're going to get less performance out of a machine with built-in air compressor. Also, depending on the machine, the duty cycle can be kind of lousy. And what I mean by that, if you're not familiar with what duty cycle is, duty cycle is the amount of time that a machine can run in a 10-minute period. So if a machine has a 35% duty cycle at maximum output of 12 amps, and you're saying 35%, that's three and a half minutes it can run in a 10-minute period. And that's measured on an, on an environment with 104 degree Fahrenheit ambient temperature. So... Basically, it's just a measure of how long the unit can run. And sometimes these units with built-in compressors can suffer uh, in terms of duty cycle. Their duty cycle can be kind of lousy. But once again, there's one machine out there that kind of defies all odds and, and actually has a good duty cycle, and that's the PowerMax 30 Air. But we'll come back to that. So who actually needs a unit with a built-in air compressor? Well, if you're someone who's working out in the field and you have access to power, but you don't have access to an air compressor, or it's just incredibly inconvenient for you to have an air compressor with you, then a, a unit with a built-in compressor can be useful. You know, I've talked to guys who have been into uh, the business of building gates and doing wrought iron gates, and they sometimes have to make customizations with the gate to fit certain things, and they had to get a PowerMax 30 Air simply because them having to drag a compressor out and hook it up to power and then hook the machine up to power was just too much of a hassle and they had the money to spend and they said you know we just want a unit that we can just plug in and use and i said okay well the power max 30 air is going to do exactly what you need and they weren't cutting anything super thick so it was actually a really good fit so you you'll know if you absolutely have to have a compressor but if you're someone who is just like hey i want a plasma cutter for my shop it would be convenient to have a one with a built-in compressor, I'm, I, I highly recommend that you steer clear of that and get a machine without a compressor and, and either A, use the compressor you have, or B, buy a compressor because it'll be damn near the same price. So one of the things I want to show you is this is the Hypertherm PowerMax 30 Air. Now, this machine uh, costs around $1,800. Now, the machine that has the exact same performance as this without a built-in compressor, I can show you right here, cost about you know 1500 bucks. okay? So exact same performance, but with no built-in compressor, it's only 1500 bucks. And then on top of that, you could buy a compressor off of Amazon, 20-gallon compressor for 220 bucks or 230 bucks. okay? 
And then you can use that compressor for a thousand other tools that you can have into your shop, right? If you don't have a compressor. Now, if you want to go that route, I'm going to post links in the video description of the plasma cutters that we recommend that do not have built-in compressors. There's a lot more variety and you can find one that actually fits your budget. So I'll post links in the video description for that if you decide to go that route. So if you have to have a machine with a built-in compressor, what are your options? Well, I'm going to show you three machines today that I think kind of represent the different price segments of the market and the best of those price segments and what you can actually get. Okay, so the first thing we got is the, the Hypertherm PowerMax 30 Air. The next one we got is the Hobart 12 CI. And then the last is the 4317. So I want to start with really, in my opinion, the only machine that is worth owning out of this bunch is the Hypertherm PowerMax 30 Air. You know, this is a machine that has full capability. You're talking dual voltage. So you can go uh, 110 or 220. You know, you can you can run in a, a wide variety of environments, which I feel for a machine that's supposed to be an all-in-one mobile machine is incredibly important. Um, on this machine, you're going to get the same power. You're going to get 20 amps on 110, and you're going to get uh, up to 30 amps on 220 or 240, whatever you want to say. Um, that's a lot of power. That's the same power as the Hypertherm PowerMax 30 XP, which is the machine that we preach is, is like one of the best all around machines for most people. It's the same exact power um, as that machine, but it has that built in compressor. The machine's a little bit bigger and it is more expensive. Okay. So this is really the only machine that you're going to get really good performance. And the reviews on Amazon here, if you read them, they represent that people are really happy with this machine because it actually does what it, what it advertises it's supposed to do. Um, if we take a look at the duty cycles of these both these machines, this is the PowerMax 30 Air, and this is the PowerMax 30 XP. As you can see, if you take a look at the duty cycle here, 35% at 240 volts, 20% at 120 volts. Go over here to the Air, same exact thing, 35% at 240 volts, 20% at 120 volts. So you're getting the same exact duty cycle, meaning that that machine is going to perform just like the PowerMax 30 XP. And that's really good. You know, most of the time these machines suffer from a duty cycle loss because of the built in compressor, but not this machine. This will function normally, which is really impressive. And that's why I always tell people, you know, Hypertherm is kind of, I want to say, ahead of the game on most of these machines. You know, they have a lot of machines that are, are very capable that uh, not a lot of companies can keep up with. You know, Miller is probably their biggest competition because they make some great machines as well. But right now, Miller doesn't have any machines with built-in compressors. And I think because it's kind of a specialty market. So the next thing I want to show you is the Hobart 12 CI. Now, this machine's quite a bit cheaper, you know, 750 bucks, but you're only getting 12 amps of power. Okay, that's not a lot. I mean, you're talking that you're not going to be able to cut half-inch steel with that. You're going to be not even be able to cut quarter inch steel with that. It's going to be difficult. That is not a lot of power. So keep that in mind. If you buy this machine, this is going to be for very, very light use. And as you can see, it only has three and a half stars on Amazon. It's because people are like, well, it works, but it's not that great. It's not that fast. You know, with a machine like this, depending on what you're doing, you might be better off with a, with a grinder, you know what I mean? And save yourself the hassle and the time and the money, or there's some other metal cutting options out there. So do I recommend the 12 CI? I mean, I think it's a good machine. I think it, it's sound. I like Hobart products. If you if you see me talk about them in the past, I'm a huge fan of Hobart because of their, their value to price and their performance. But with this machine, I mean, they're upfront about it. It's only 12 amps. You're really not going to get a lot of power here. So I don't see a lot of use for this machine, you know, maybe for some specific people, but that's it. And then last but not least, I just wanted to show you the 4317. You know, as you get lower in price, these machines are expensive. And when you get into that low price range of 600 bucks, as you can see, two stars, people are not happy because the performance is just not there. This machine also runs at a maximum 12 amps, but it has an even worse duty cycle than the Hobart. So literally you're just sitting there with the machine that's kind of overheating and not able to keep up. And it just doesn't work that well. It's not a good experience. So what is my end result? My end result is that if you can avoid buying a plasma cutter with a built-in compressor, do it because you can get a kick-ass machine like the 30 XP and you can buy yourself a compressor if you don't have one. And next thing you know, your shop just became 10 times better because now you have a compressor you can use and you have a plasma cutter. 
However, if you're in the market for a plasma cutter with a built-in compressor because you absolutely have to have it and that's that's the specific application that you need is to have a built-in compressor, the PowerMax 30 Air, in my opinion, is the only machine that I would really consider. Yes, it's expensive, but Hypertherm is the best in the business. They have great customer support. They'll be around for a very long time, so those consumables and replacement parts will always be available to you. If you have any question of whether they're a good company, give their customer support a call. They're dynamite. They're English-speaking people that are actually here in the U.S. They'll answer all your questions, super knowledgeable and helpful. Anytime I've had any problems, I can call them for troubleshooting, and, man, they're just dynamite. So I think that this is the machine to go to if you have to buy one with a built-in compressor. So I hope this video helps you all out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. Uh, I would really like to help you out. My goal is to find you guys the right machine and help you make an educated decision and be happy with your purchase. So if there's any questions that I did not uh, cover in this video, please post them below and I'll be happy to answer them. I'm always willing to help. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you and good luck with your new machines. You're going to love them. Hypertherm makes some badass products. So if you guys get a Hypertherm, you're going to love it. All right, guys, catch you in the next video.